Brother Bernard Delcourt. I'm the prior of the monastery, which means I take care of administrative matters for the management of the monastery. Uh, I sit on the house council, which advises the superior on matters pertaining to the monastery. I'm the chairperson of the Order of the Holy Cross's Finance Committee. I'm also the secretary of chapter for the Order of the Holy Cross and I'm a spiritual director. I joined the monastery in 2004 and uh, before joining the monastery what I did the longest was being an investment banker in an American bank. I worked for them in Brussels in Europe and then in New York City. I am also a dual citizen of Belgium and the United States. So I've been in the monastery for 16 years and I'd say that it's an ongoing process of change to hold my dream and desires for the community lightly and not become militant about um, having us move and change in the direction that I thought in my own wisdom uh, to be the right one. And learning that the communal wisdom is often the better way forward, that it's the sustainable way forward. And so to be willing to, to listen and to, um, to come together to a consensus of what is best to do rather than what I think myself is the most important. There's a lot of things I like about being a monk. It's really a good fit for me to be a monk. But uh, amongst the things that I like the best is probably chanting with my brothers. I have loved to learn to chant and I love Gregorian music. And it's a wonderful feeling to feel like we're singing uh, with one voice all together to glorify God. And the other thing I love is getting to know the brothers better and to understand who they are and uh, to love them for who they are. We get to know people really well uh, because we live together all the time and we do most everything together. We pray and chant together, we worship together, we work together very often. We have tasks that we do in common and as teams. Um, we have leisure also, uh, where we uh, will have good time together watching a movie or having conversation together. So day in, day out, you learn to know people really well uh, in a variety of, of uh, contexts. Silence is an important part of a monk's life, as is solitude, but we do not per se take a vow of silence. Uh, we observe silence and quietness as much as we can in our lives. We have a daily practice called Greater Silence, which is from 8.30 at night to 8.30 in the morning, where we um, do not use conversation or make any noise. So that's a fully silent 12 hours right there. And then during the rest of the day, uh, we try to maintain an atmosphere of quiet throughout the enclosure. 
um, and we have a lot of moments on our own in silence. So those moments of silence uh, and solitude are important because they enable us to center and to be more directly aware of the presence of God, not to be distracted from the presence of God, and um, to know ourselves better, which is an important part of conversion to the monastic way of life. We also observe silence around the clock at some points in the year. Uh, we have every few months what we call contemplative days, and these are three days during which we have a lighter liturgical schedule. We encourage people to not get too busy at their work duties and to spend the time in prayer, meditation and study. Uh, and those are uh, fully silent around the clock. And that's very nurturing also. We, we look forward to those times in the year. Uh, once a year we, w we have what we call long retreat. For the moment we do that in January and that's uh, eight days of full silence together. is to pray, worship, and serve together in our various ministries. So that takes precedence. And in our leisure time, we get to do what uh, we're interested in. Um, in my case, I have, um, I have a good dose of intellectual uh, curiosity. So I, I get interested by many different things. For the moment, I'm... Um, reading and watching videos of current French philosophers. I'm also taking a university class in astrophysics at the Université de Grenoble, um, so I maintain my French that way a little bit as well. Um, I also learn languages um, because I love languages. I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo for the moment. So those are things that you can do in your free time and that don't uh, absorb you too much. Uh, and I, I read a great deal also. Um, challenges have uh, become less prominent in my life as a monk, thank goodness. Uh, I'd say that an early challenge was uh, to learn that I was not an autonomous individual who could decide whatever he wanted anymore, that if I wanted to uh, take a car, I had to go and find out if the cars were available, sign it out before deciding to go out for an errand. Uh, I had to decide if my errand would fit in the periods of free time in between our community obligations. So that was an adaptation to uh, not be able to uh, just add a whim to whatever I wanted to do next. Having a way of living together uh, with purpose uh, in a way that respects everybody's individuality while making the common good the most important thing is uh, an important model for society to look at and uh, we need to move away from consumerism and individualism and Benedictinism is a perfect example of how that can be done. way to find out is to do what Jesus said to the Apostles, come and see. Um, come and visit us, come as a guest, um, check it out and see how you feel about the place and how it nourishes your soul. And then if uh, it is confirmed that it's something you want to look into, then you should really get in touch with our vocations minister, Brother Joseph, and start having a conversation. A conversation does not commit you it helps you to get clear about who you want to become. 
during this COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it's not possible to come and visit us right away, but eventually it will. In the meantime, you may want to check out our online offerings and worship with us at Vespers on Wednesday or Saturday evening. Uh, check out our website and see what we're saying about ourselves. Um, read our blogs, listen to our sermons. You're gonna find all that on our website. Uh, and that already gives you a pretty good impression of what kind of community with, uh, we are. And then you can be in phone and email contact with Brother Joseph and start the conversation even before you can get here.